Hi, this is Jeff Berhan for Olympia Film Collective. I was the producer and customer for this short film, uh, Where I'm Calling From, uh, written or adapted and written and directed by Riley Gibson. This uh, particular location, these are all uh, just photo stills that I took on various uh, set locations for this short film. Uh, this particular location is Bougie Waldron's house. It happens to be located in uh, the historic downtown uh, Old Town of Olympia. A uh, great house for, for what we needed. This was our first period piece, um, so we're out there scouting for old houses, old cars, old clothes, old props. And uh, Bougie and his wife were awesome, great. Um, gracious hosts and uh, um, were willing to let us terrorize uh, their privacy for a whole day but uh, yeah we we're really grateful to them for what they did um, but these are all just scenes of Frank Martin's house uh, a character that Bougie actually played um, where Jason peed there's Jason there with uh, James behind him um, Jason P plays a uh, a drunk actually, and this is the uh, recovery home that he goes to, uh, run by Frank Martin, um, where he goes to dry out um, after being kicked out of his house by his wife. There's James uh, Clark, who's been in several Olympia Film Collective films. There's Dylan and Dylan and Sid Boyle, and their director Riley Gibson, uh, talking with our. Our young talent, Lachlan McGregor, a young uh, actor out of Seattle. <clears throat> There's uh, Sid and, and Trevor Cartwright uh, setting up the jib for our next shot. Um, there's there's Lachlan there. Brandon, Trevor, Pat Boyle also came down from Tacoma to help us out. The airplane I built and it never got used. I was so sad. Anyway, there's a jib. Yep, it helped us to get over, you know, get some nice dolly shots and also to help us to get over that fence. Yeah, we'd had several shots of Lachlan falling because it was pretty hard to find, <laughs> to get a convincing fall out of him. Um, he kept laughing. Uh, Marie Turner also came down from Seattle and was our hair and makeup artist. Um, that's Jennifer Honka, an actress out of Seattle as well. We try to get as much local people as possible, but you know, when people come are willing to drive that far just to be in one of our films, you know, it's you know, that shows some dedication. We really like that. Jason Pete, a local actor, Sarah Ricci, who has the clap there, and uh, yeah, Sam, Sam Turner, such a trooper this day because it rains. There, there it is. It rained so hard this day. Um, luckily, toward, uh, later towards the end, uh, well, it's something you have to get used to in the Northwest uh, Northwest filmmaking. Prepare for the rain, because you're going to get it. But uh, luckily we had this space to, to huddle under and, and keep you know, dry underneath. Uh, thank you to, to Jan Debucci for volunteering her garage um, for this little um, location here and to keep us dry. Um, uh, but uh, no, this is uh, oh, Leah, Leah Wickstrom. Um, she was a girl I met through musical theater, and you know, we needed uh, someone who uh, could bring that uh, cuteness, someone who could pull off, you know, um, this guy falling in love with her um, at first sight, and yeah, yeah, Leah's. Yeah, easy on the eyes, I guess, but yeah. Well, she did the part, and she fit the role, and she was great. She's such a such a sweetheart, uh, great voice too, and she has it. She's actually trying to make it as a country singer, um, so you'll see her around, probably around town up up north. But there's Josh and Nick McCord. Nick is a great umbrella handler. Handler, if you need an umbrella handler, get Nick McCord. He's awesome. Uh, this is. <laughs> Uh, just a night shoot outside uh, outside location. It's supposedly uh, our main character's house. That after one of his drinking binges, he comes home, um, finds the door locked, and it's our first time using a sort of I guess it's called a breakaway bottle. Um, it's a, a glass bottle actually made of sugar. 
so it breaks, but it doesn't doesn't uh, stab anybody. So uh, uh, Jason got to break that on the door um, of this uh, this place. This actually is actually the the director's um, the director's girlfriend's sister's house, and uh, so they let us in there. There's uh, Nikki Nikki McCoy. Who we've also got to work with. She played the the lead's wife on in, in Where I'm Calling From, but we've also got to work with her recently on a new film called Anything Helps, which will be premiering in Tacoma at the end of the month. There's Jason and uh, doing one of our, our beauty scenes, our, our montages, just uh, running at the birds uh, down on the water. James Winters was awesome. Came down. You know, we needed um, some slow motion shots, so he brought his red down and spent uh, an afternoon with us. Uh, in a <laughs> Jason, Jason Peed, um, such a dedicated actor, and he was willing to shave half of his head for us. That was really cool. Steve Hemnes, Steve Hemnes of A1 Rentals, uh, loaned us his vehicle for this shot. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece. I mean, we really relied on the community to come to come together and, and help us, and they really did um, come forward and, and uh, loan us their cars, loan us their clothing, loan us props, and I'm really grateful to the antique community here and in Tacoma, grateful to Glenn and, and Rebs, uh, Glenn Ripple and Reb Salter for uh, once again helping us out with set decoration and finding us the right props. There's Steve right there, um, great guy. Um, really fun. This, actually, this 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 particular scene was not fun for me. I was freaking out as as sort of as the producer side of me. I was thinking about safety, and I, I was thinking this is crazy because this scene required the lead Jason to hang out a window and, and to drink champagne, and and so we couldn't uh, shut down a road. Um, this is a, a sort of a road in the farming community south of Olympia, and it was it got pretty hairy with the oncoming traffic, and because we were driving slower than they were, and they were not slowing down for anything, so we kind of had to film in between the different lulls between cars, and we had people posted on each end of the road to sort of wave people down, and and people on on cell phones to let us know when cars were coming. So it was all right. It turned out fine. Uh, no one got hurt. Everything went as planned and, and we got some beautiful shots out of it so uh, this is the scene where um, Jason comes uh, uh, and checks into the uh, Frank Martin's recovery house there's Bougie as Frank Martin and Jason and everybody reviewing the shots and uh, yeah, there's Bougie in Frank Martin's recovery house. Sad thing about this is this whole scene did not make it in the film. You know, we went through all this work and, and trouble, and and uh, it, it just, it, I, I think it was for pacing reasons, it, it didn't quite fit in the film. The film was long, kind of long enough as, as it was, but uh, it, it was it was kind of a B do to edit this this little section too. Just yeah, so. Uh, there's Dylan on camera. Once again, Dylan added his special touch to this project and did a beautiful job. It's a beautiful film. Oh, looks like we're done. 